You know me, mate, when I've got an Armstrong Siddeley in my garage. Yeah. I'm a happy bunny. Good. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a glorious day here in Lincolnshire. This is my 1949 Armstrong Siddeley Lancaster. And actually, well, I've not driven it yet this year. It's out of my garage. And the reason it's out is because it is the festival of the unexceptional next week, meaning that I've need to get the Black Knight out and the White Proton SE out and about as well. Um, this won't be going to any shows this year due to work commitments. However, in this video, well, I thought I'd bring it around to Dad's house and instead of doing work on it, I thought we'd take it for a spin. We'll just take it for a spin then around Lincolnshire's back roads, have a chat and talk about the Armstrong Sidley. Hello. Hello, mate. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So we're with the Armstrong Siddeley. As you heard in the introduction, we are going to take it for a spin. Um, I've got the car out the garage, so it's been literally just down the road for a minute or two. It seemed to pull to the left, but that's not a major problem. We're going to take it for a spin, I think. The first spin... Uh, we've been together on the channel in the car, and the first spin I've taken it for a, a while. What are you going to do before we just take it out? Look at the look at stuff. I'll have a look under here. Look under the engine bay. Yeah. It is relatively clean now after you uh, did some work on it. Everything seems to be okay. What are you Could checking you around there and get that, will you? Yeah, oh yeah, the what the uh, the prop? Yes, please. Yeah, it needs uh, needs a little bit of TLC. This in that it needs a good. <coughs> Yank out. It's easier with two of us, isn't it? Yeah. There she is. See this here? When all these computers go down, yes. it'll still go. <laughs> yes, when the computers are broke, which they are today, Mrs John Cooten is sat at work unable to do absolutely anything, we're still able to do what we're doing, which is tinkering with engines. See, this will st if all the computers get zapped, this will still go. It hasn't got no confluters. There's nothing computerised on it at all, is there? It's no, actually no, 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 relatively no. simple no, mechanics. No, no, no. There's no semiconductors, mate. <laughs> we've had uh, quite extensive work done on this. Well, I say we've had it done. You've done the work. Uh, new distributor last year. Well, not a new one. It's just we've got one that works now. There it is. New. Well, you know, it's a new one, isn't it? No, it's an old one. Oh, well, yes, it's, 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 old one felt it's one that works, yeah, um, and all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, I love it. Mechanically okay still. Good thing about these cars is you've always got something to tinker with if you've got one of these. <laughs> well, I can leave it with you then. Now, you've always got something you can do. You've always got something you can do, because it'll need... So some... the car has been stood oh. for about a year. Uh, well, it's been off the road. What would you recommend we check before we take it for a spin? Lights, levels, tyre pressures. Exactly. Oil, oil looking good? Look at that old fashioned dipstick. I thought you call me that. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Yep, as I say, it's not been got anywhere. a lot of puddles under her. There was quite a bit of a puddle at the back. At the back? Mm. A new puddle? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any. Uh, I think, don't think you're going to have any puddles on your driveway. Yeah, but that shouldn't be leaking at the back there. Have you ordered any van? No. <laughs> oh, there is a bit of a poodle. But not from the diff pinion. What do you reckon it's from? I can't see from here, but it might just be the drain plug or the level plug. Oh, right. It's not dripping, but well, there's a drip on the bottom of the diff. That pinion's as dry as a bone. Good news. Well, you, you've repaired that. Yeah, put a new seal in it. There's definitely a bit of a leak from the back of the diff. I wonder what that is. Oh, tinkering. I do like tinkering. This was meant to be us taking it for a drive. I know, but I'm not, I'm not, you know me. I'm this is you, blooming, taking it for a mechanic in. Well, it's a bit on the bottom of the Oh, it looks like the drain plug's leaking. What's leaking? Yeah, it's the diff drain plug's leaking. Oh, right. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, yeah, it's just there. A blown vein. Or is it just back cover? Well, at have... least you found out what the problem is. Oh, no, it's the back cover. It's further up. I'm not panicking. It's not leaking like it used to do. 
If it was dry as a bone, I'd be concerned. <laughs> I mean, there's no oil in it. I mean, there's no oil in the blooming thing. Really? It's got a little bit of a leak from the diff. But it's not as bad as it was. It used to leave. But you've got, reckon you've got a puddle. Oh, yeah, it's a big puddle. A fresh it? puddle? Yeah, 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 yeah. Serious? Yeah. Oh, we'll have a look at that. You'll have to come round and have a shufty. I'm surprised it's a bit of a... Because it hasn't dripped anything on here. How much oil would you say then, John? Oh, boy? That's, now you're asking the question. It's like a cup full? No, not that much. No, because it's... I'll tell you what I'll do. When I get home, I'll send you a picture of the yeah, puddle. Yeah, it definitely is. And that pinion's as dry as a bone, which is good news. I'll leave it with you then. Now we're going for a ride, aren't we? <laughs> Are we? Yeah. <laughs> it amuses me, there's some pieces of wood between the body and the chassis. <laughs> they're somewhat. Well, they look like pieces of wood. Oh, probably. <laughs> I bet they are. I do hope they've used hardwood. Yeah, it's wood. <laughs> Funny old thing. I like tinkering with this. Why? Ralph, Hel Ralph helps me. Ralph, your yeah. mate. Yeah. Bloke who taught me. Ralph knew how to do these sort of things. I'm glad that you've got all squaddy and are now going to get in, no, the, I'm not in, got squaddy. in the car. My drive's not squaddy. Are you happy to take it for a spin now? Who looks in the water right, eh? Uh No. Remember, it's a hot day. Doesn't appear to have been any water leaking on the floor, so. No, she's all right, mate. Should be water in there. We put fresh in it, didn't we, last year? Yeah. Is it? Is it okay? Yeah. Good. Did you prime it up or not? Uh, yesterday. Did you prime the pump? Yeah. But not today. Yeah, but yeah, but when you when it started straight away after you primed the pump, did it? Yeah. Yeah, good for her. It was easier to start this than the Black Knight yesterday. <laughs> Do you want me to get it ticking over? Go on then, just start her. Yeah, hang on a minute then. She'd be all right, she's a good old thing. Uh, where's the keys? Oh, hang on a minute, I've got the keys here. Let me just get the keys. Right, here we go then, ready? Oh, I'm gonna pull the choke out, hang on. No, nah, we didn't need that, will it? Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Started, first button. Listen to that. Quiet. Yeah. She's not ever so quiet. I reckon the road camshaft's warm. I've you reckon she should be quieter than that? I, I do. So the reason that Armstrong Siddeley has got a sphinx on the bonnet as the mascot is? It's as silent as the sphinx. Well, it's not though, is it? <laughs> no, she's not. She's better than she jolly well was before I did the rum and valves though. Yes, when we bought it, it was a bit Thunderous. That Dutch bloke tells me you can adjust them with them running to get it to go and disappear. Mm. As silent as a sphinx, but it used to tap a tapper. It used to chug a chug, didn't it? Like a machine gun. You see, there, there you can call it almost as silent as a sphinx. Well, I can hear it more there than I could do. That engine doesn't leak oil like it did though, does it? No. Where did I take this to? I took it to the Baston Car Show, didn't I? Uh, did you? I drove it somewhere. You drove it? Our Boston Car Show. You didn't drive it there, I drove it there. I've driven it somewhere because you was following me. Because you said to me, you've got up to 60 on there. Oh yeah, it was at the Boston Classic Car Show. What was I in, a Proton or something? I don't know. Or an MR2. I think I might have been the MR2, anyway. Shall we take it for a spin? Yes, please. Let's take it for a spin on the road. Ah. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm just laughing at that panda sitting there. Oh yeah, we've got Bruce in the back, haven't we? We, do, we don't have these in China. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Put your seatbelt on, Bruce. Yeah, put your seatbelt on. We haven't got any flipping seatbelts. We're never looking, are not. Right, here we go. Not allowed to look at the car here. 
Oh, I'm sweating already. It is warm, isn't it? <laughs> right, come on then. I Let's should be uh, bloody hanging on to the door handle. Go for a spin. What's that? I should be hanging on to the bloody door handle. Yeah, you drive. it's a funny old. <laughs> I literally reached to put seat the belt seat belt on. It seems strange not to do it. It is a funny old car. So she's running. She's been running. Let's turn the handbrake off. It's an umbrella lever. Oh, we're filming, are we? Yeah, we're filming. Yeah, you're coming for a spin. Are you all right with that? Yes, mate. So she didn't go to three legs like she did once before. Then she's. Well, that's why I want you to come for a spin with me in case yeah. we go getting a problem. We ought to buy a set of plugs for it so we can blink and we'll just swap them over if we have a problem ever. Well, I bought the toolkit now, haven't I? I've bought a brand new toolkit uh, yeah. for it. I say brand new toolkit. I've bought the old no, proper toolkit nice for it. Nice to have a set with us. If we go anywhere, we need to change the plugs. Yeah, the power steering doesn't appear to be working. Oh, is it off today? Very well. So it is a Wilson... Oh, bugger. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, mate. Thank you very much. Right, hang on a minute. So it's a Wilson pre select gearbox and that massive turning circle. Wave at this lady here. Thank you very much. Oh, it's warm in the cab and the car is immediately wanting to go. Yeah, but long. I wish they'd have sorted it out. They didn't used to be as bad as that. To that job. side. No. Okay, just don't, don't keep doing it, please, because it stresses me out. Yeah, no worries. Just hang on to the steering wheel. So it is pulling to the left, isn't it? But not problematical. Here we go. We've got the windows open because it's a warm old day, and now we're into fourth gear. There are only four gears, four gears in reverse, and it is a funny old thing to drive, you've got to train yourself, haven't you? Do concentrate on that. The brakes are okay after it's been laid up, are they? Appears to be, yeah. I would test them, but there is a Royal Mail van quite close to my bottom. I reckon the tyres have been pumped up too hard. Oh, really? I honestly feel they have. And you reckon that's why um, well, no, no. it's got a bit of wiggle? It feels a bit harsh. It is a heavy old machine, isn't it? And so you really have to be thinking 30 Fun metres ahead. in advance. Yeah, you're like 100. There you are, a spin around Lincolnshire's back roads in an Armstrong Sidley. Put that on your channel. It does feel a bit pumpy, doesn't it? I think they've been blown up hard. It feels very bumpy. It does. But also I've been driving a modern car for the past. However many months. You won't run into this ZT. I won't run into the ZT, no. Oh, the village hall is for sale again. Again? Yeah. Bing bong, there goes the trafficator. Yeah, but it's got indicators as well, hasn't it? It has, we've got aftermarket modern indicators fitted. Yeah. The brakes feel okay but it is pulling to that side with the brake and I press the brakes. When you pull, when you press the brakes, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So it's... They're not keep doing no, that, no, we, no, know, just, we know it's pulling. So it's pulling there. You can feel it without letting go of the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. So we're at 40 miles an hour. Yeah, it shouldn't be about bumping like that. Need to check the tyre pressures. How are you going to be using it this summer? Not really. Oh, right. I think today. <laughs> I might take Mrs. John Coopman out and about in it. It's just a cool old creature, isn't it, to have out and about on a day like today? It's a good thing to be tinkering with. I'll leave it with you then. Can't beat a bit of tinkering on the old. What's left to do? What would you be tinkering with if uh, I left it with you this afternoon? 
Oh yeah, she's pulling that way when I'm breaking the brakes. They need, I should think the brakes need a looking at. Well, I'll be honest with you, don't wait it out. I know the rear shoes are nearly shot, but they're not on the backs. So we had new, sh we had them reshoed at the front, didn't we? Yes, but the backs are nearly out. But what we have got, I remember, is there is some clay in the offside lower ball joint, which is something we need to address sometime. There are some parts in the back there, in the boot, for the car, which are something to do with the brakes. Could you upgrade the brakes on something like this? Yeah, you could do, mate. There's an Armstrong Siddeley Sapphire for sale at the moment. It's a beautiful colour, but it's got a Triumph Herald engine in it. Oh, yeah. Why would someone fit a Triumph Herald engine? Because the trouble is, if this old engine breaks, it needs a lot of old-timey knowledge to bend it. Right. A very small engine to put a Triumph Herald engine in it. So we're at 50 miles an hour, and it's quite noisy. But it's running nicely. It's not misfiring, is it? No. It stopped pulling so bad at speed, hasn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I think it always has pulled a bit to one side. The steering is... quaint, shall we say. I'm not taking us into the car park of Dobby's this afternoon. No, yeah. Because we would probably be the quaint thing in the car park that people could look at. I'll take us through the town. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Not through the town centre. No. I'll take us... It's all be going to be wedged up in traffic. No. Well, it's all right. Shouldn't be. K12 Nissan Micra, £2,400. With a big crease in the door. There's a man turned up at the supermarket this morning. He was in a K12 Micra. And I never said anything. And your mum never said anything. But we both saw the same thing. Because the chap had had some sort of injury to his ear hole. And we both thought, oh, Mr Trump's arrived. <laughs> It wasn't Mr. Trump, was it? No. The last time I checked, Donald Trump doesn't drive a uh, K12 Nissan Micra. Right, so we're coming up to oh, might like the roundabout here. I've selected second because I know I'm going to need it. And I'm going to gently press the gear select pedal. It's not a clutch. You can't call it a clutch. And I'm approaching the roundabout. You can here we go. Whoa! Time it so you've got it. Ooh. Into third, and actually you can go everywhere comfortably in fourth. 30 miles an hour, fourth gear. I like driving this. Yeah? It's... You've got to recalibrate yourself, because I think to myself, wouldn't it be awful to go to Lidl in it? <laughs> well, let's you... take it to Lidl. Because you have to jolly well uh, plan ahead, don't you? A local chap who is a friend of mine, Simon Fixter, drives pre-war and post-war vehicles, Triumphs and all that sort of stuff. He had an open-top thing at Rustaval, if you remember. Yes, man. And he dailies, and like an A, is it an A7? Austin 7? Yeah. He dailies an Austin 7. This is, it's getting your brain recalibrated, isn't it? You know I said it wasn't going to be wedged up? Yeah. It's all wedged up. It is wedged up, isn't it? It's not too bad though, is it? No, it'll be alright. I've seen it a lot worse. A lot, lot, lot worse. It is a lot worse. People are stopping to look at the Armstrong. People like it. Is that a new, is that a new recording now, isn't it? it what? Pissing recording. <laughs> well, there we are. We've made it home and actually the camera malfunctioned halfway 
through our journey. Because it was a bit hot, mate. Yeah, overheated for some reason, which actually I'm probably doing in this. We've just done, what would you say? 20 miles? Oh, you've got the speedo in front, don't you? Well, that's a... Guess. Uh, we've just we've just been out and about anyway. Yeah, in the car. it's been all right. What did you think to that? Well, you've just got to recalibrate yourself, haven't you? Yeah, it seems to be driving better now we've done that. It's less uh, it's a world of good. fiddling about. Um, we need to look at some... Yeah, we need to have a look at them brakes. They need balancing up a bit, don't they? What's the plan? The plan is you're going to put it in my garage and when I can be asked, I'm going to have a look at it. Good. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do realise it's much better with the air conditioning on with the pollen filter. <laughs> yes, you're full of uh, hay Have you noticed it? That's wrapped round there. I never noticed yeah, that well, before. Yeah, the veneer, yeah. It's all good, it's isn't wrapped it? wrapped round that corner. Um, so we've taken the car for a spin. It hasn't been on the road since, I don't know, last September. It starts, runs, drives okay, doesn't it? Yeah, but brakes pull a bit. The brakes are pulling. I think it's always pulled to the left a bit. It has. What could be causing it to pull just a little bit? The left? geometry. Yeah, okay, fine. So you're well, the... you need to bring me your blooming Armstrong Sidley books. Oh, yeah. Do you need them, do you? I shall do, but not, not in a hurry. Not in a hurry. Okay. I just need the Armstrong Sidley books for having a look at the suspension because there is some adjustments I can make. Oh, well, there you go. We're slowly getting it better, aren't we? Slowly getting it better. I enjoyed that drive. It was good. If you were somebody that was a mechanic type person, you'd think to yourself, I'm just going to nip out to the shed and I'm going to have an hour on my Sidley. On tinkering. And there's all the summit you can do. Mm. There's all the something you can do. I'm not sure what I can do. Well, this needs fixing. That one's leaving alone. It's the least you worry. These need fixing. They're a bit saggy. Well, I think they <laughs> gonna. Yeah. Yeah. But it's what they're fastened to. It's a bit saggy, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm gonna have to get my bloody woodworking tools out next, aren't I? <laughs> Did you enjoy the little uh, journey? In the I always Armstrong enjoy Sydney? having a ride in the Armstrong Sidley. Yeah. I always enjoy having a ride in. Like People like to see it. It's just going back in time, isn't it? Going back in time, 75 years. Yeah, and as you say, it's a funny old thing. This was a fast car 75 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and it is. Hey. Yeah. Do you know what? Sometimes I look at it and think, I can't believe that that is 75 years old. Yeah. It was a fast car 75 years ago. Well, it ago. would do 70 mile an hour back yeah. in the day. There weren't a lot of cars would do that, was there? Nope. It was an expensive car. It was a £1,000. Mm. That's a lot of money in 1949. I'm going to say because I've got a receipt somewhere for Uncle Tom buying a Ford Pop, but the purchase tax was still like a hundred pound on it. Really? And he'd paid for a heater and stuff as well. And I think it was about five hundred pound. That was in the fifties. That was a rich farmer though, wasn't it? So no, he's a lorry driver. <laughs> Good. Well, sorry we couldn't show you too much no. footage of us driving around in the Armstrong Sidley. Uh, but if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. There will be some more content coming there, which is tinkering with the brakes and steering and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Uh, you like this one, don't you? I don't like riding around in it. I wouldn't like to drive it much. I don't mind driving it. Because it's a bit of an handful. Well, there you go. You can be... But it's all right for tinkering with. ...the man in the garage and I can be the man that's all right for tinkering with. Well, around. I need a pair of old, big old dark blue overalls with a big belt round, don't yeah. I? Yeah. And a cap. <laughs> and a cap. We like my mate Ralph and a shirt and tie on the norm, mate. There you are. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Comment down below. What do you reckon to the Armstrong Sidley? Maybe on a day when it's not so hot, we will take it for a spin. The grease is oozing out the door hinges. It's that bloody hot. <laughs> Good. Till next time. See ya. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> What if I went to the gym in it one day? <laughs> As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.